hello. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I'm Leslie. I'm the evening news anchor at KCEN Channel 6 here in Temple, Texas, and I want to thank you for clicking on this video. This is a brand new series we are starting here on our YouTube channel, Beauty Tip Tuesday. So every Tuesday, I get the chance to talk about one of my favorite topics, beauty. That means makeup, skincare, hair, pretty much anything that makes us feel and look our most beautiful, vibrant selves. Now, I am not a makeup artist, I'm not a hairstylist, I'm not a skincare guru, I'm not a dermatologist, but I am a journalist. So, if I don't know the answer, I'll find somebody who does. So real quick before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you never miss a Beauty Tip Tuesday. And while we're at it, follow me on social media. All those links are below so we can continue the conversation. Now this first video is a get ready with me. It's a chance for you to see all the things I have to do to put this together for the news every single day. Enjoy. I'm here in our makeup room. I've got everything set up. So let's get started. First things first, you need a good primer. This one is by NYX. It's a pore filler. Let's put just a little bit on this. And this is just gonna smooth out all your pores. Kinda comes out in like a little paste. And you're just gonna put that in all your fine lines in your pores. Now, this is a trick that I learned from a YouTube video for getting really good winged eyeshadow very easily. Scotch tape, you can put it in the corner of your eye and what you wanna do is put it on the back of your hand first a couple times. That way it loses a little bit of its stickiness and it doesn't hurt so much whenever you have to pull it off afterwards. Just gonna check to see if the lines look okay. Look pretty good. All right, let's get started. I'm using the Royal Palette. I got it off of an app called Hush. It's about eight bucks. And I'm using just a pale, like a white color first, followed by a little purple. Obviously you can tell that I use that one a lot. And then this is just a fluffy eyeshadow brush from Morphe, which is my favorite, favorite makeup brush company. It is the Morphe M441. It's kind of fluffy. Also need to clean it, but you know what? Who has time for that? So now that I have that done, I'm skipping to the Inferno palette by Bad Habit, also from the Hush app. I'm mixing in it in a little bit of Bonfire, Hot Spot, and Burn. Kind of like a, or a orangey burnt rust color. I'm just putting that in the outer third of my eyelid. And I know it looks really dark right now, but don't worry, it will get fixed. There we go. That's how it looks so far. Also, this Morphe M505. A little bit less fluffy than the other one. Okay, staying in this palette, we are going to the Morphe M4, M433, and it's kind of like a flatter brush. See how it's skinnier? Dipping into Smolder, which looks like a brown, but I promise it's kind of purple. And because my eyes are lighter, I like to stick with those purples and those mauves. Now I'm gonna go back and grab the first brush that we had. Take a look in this mirror. And we're just gonna blend kind of those colors all together and make them not look so crazy and dark. So I am an evening news anchor. I anchor the 5, 6, and 10 p.m. Monday through Friday newscasts. I also I'm a multimedia journalist. That means that I shoot and edit and write packages once a week. Um, my segment is called Your Best Life, and it is kind of just a topic, any health topic out there. 
what I was just doing is going in with this elf brush it is the blending eye brush this was a dollar and getting just a little highlight color for the upper part Then lastly what I like to do is go in with this color ignite which is a sparkly purple put it on my ring finger and just lightly go along that outer corner going over the purple on the outside and then I put it in blaze my middle finger in blaze which is like a red copper and just lightly dab it in the middle part of my eye okay so we just got some dimension now let's check these guys one more time and just blend a little bit more okay good to go now here's the magic ready perfect lines now we're gonna smudge those a little bit because that's very intense but we'll do that in a little bit moving on this is the foundation that I'm addicted to NARS I use a different one Let me reach forward either this guy or this guy this is the natural radiant longwear foundation love it this one is all day luminous weightless foundation so this one is a lighter coverage than this one also this one seems to be a little bit darker than this one right now Although it's hard to tell because these, this is frosted glass and this is just plain glass. So we're going to use this today. I've been addicted to NARS for at least the last year. I just really like how it gives me sort of a, a more luminous glow. And it's not so full coverage that you can't see my skin at all. And I really like that. So this is the Morphe M439 Amazing Foundation Brush. I just put this on the back of my palm. And go to town so you're gonna notice that this does not look like my skin tone but it does look like my skin tone whoops sorry right here so in television the thing you want to remember is the lights will wash you out they'll wash you out so so much so I always when I buy makeup go one to two shades darker than what my face skin tone is now I also wear you know sunscreen every single day or almost every day if I'm being honest because sometimes I forget but my skin on my face is gonna be lighter than my skin on my other parts of my body and that's okay but you want to if you are watching this and maybe you are getting into the news business and you have questions I suggest always one to two shades darker on the foundation that way you don't look bleached out is I think it's not a beauty blender it's one of the cheaper ones but it's like a sponge and I'm just going in it's a little bit damp and what I'm doing is just tapping in the foundation and yes it takes a little bit longer to do this but it just really gives you a little bit better coverage Okay, so now it is time for concealer. I also am using NARS concealer. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in shade Creme Brulee. It has a little bit more of a pink undertone, and that's going to help with blueness or dark circles. At least that's what the lady at Sephora told me. And this is where I like to say we're doing our war paint. So highlighting on the bridge of the nose, a little bit up there. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, now I have the Morphe E8, and oh, that's fun looking. I haven't been using this as much until recently, but you're just gonna use it to like lightly buffer in, and then we're gonna go back with that blender and tap it into the. have little tiny lines in your eyeballs like me I just really softly smooth those out okay next thing we're gonna do this is the 
Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and I just use a teeny bit of that on the tip of this, in the corners of the eyes. And we're gonna bake that in. So what that means is we're gonna put that on, and then we're gonna continue on with our other stuff and let it just chill. However, what we're gonna do next, before we do that, is we're gonna set, I set my concealer. This is where it gets all over my outfit. But that's okay, because that's not, this is not what I'm wearing on TV today. Alrighty, let's do some contour. So my contour brush that I love to use is this one. This is by Morphe as well, R10. And this is my tried and true all-time favorite highlight and contour palette. I also have other folks that I work with who have gotten onto this too. This thing is 25 bucks, up $5 from when I first started using it because I guess they realized how popular it was. But compared with all the other contour palettes out here, you get four dark colors, four light colors. These two are matte, these two are shimmers. All of these down here are matte, and that's really important for highlighting on television. You wanna stay in the matte family. So I just brushed across all four, and then in the cheekbone, hold on, I gotta get actual hair for this. In the cheekbone, about each side, and you can kind of suck in a little bit to find where you're putting that. It's just kind of right there. And it looks really dark, but I promise it's gonna be okay. Go back in. I have a very big forehead. I like to call it my four and a half head, five head maybe. So we're gonna just darken that up a little bit. Just round out the edges, up into the hairline. Just make it look a little bit smaller. And that is something that I learned from the Kardashians. A lot of my makeup tips I have learned from watching the Kardashians. Or I guess more importantly, watching the Kardashians makeup people. Okay, that looks good. And then just to shade underneath the jawline and down the neck. Create a good shadow. Good to go, okay. So now we're gonna take this Morphe brush. It is the M438. I really like it because it has this tapered top fluffy. We're going to brush off this, which is our bake for our concealer. Remember we put concealer right there. And that's just kind of helping that stay put with it being in your T-zone. I feel like if you sweat or you have oil, that can come off. So I like to make sure I always set that stuff. And we're going to go ahead and wipe off the under eye set as well. And do our nose contour. So the nose contour, I use two different brushes. This one is a very old Color Basis brush, and if you are in television, you know, probably you've heard of Color Basis. They're a great company. They are out of the Dallas-Fort Worth area, Contour and Define. And I've had this for, oh my gosh, like eight years. This is the Morphe E47 angled brush. This is a lot of people use. I like to use this to blend this to put it on initially. So, I only use the last three, not this orangey one. Tap, 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 tap. Get that off. And to contour my nose, I like to suck in with my nose like this. And you're going straight down the side, kind of onto the top. So finally, I'm gonna put this guy into the two matte highlights. Just a little bit on the bridge of the nose. Again, you don't really wanna do anything that's got a shimmer for television news, with the exception I have found. A tiny little bit right on your Cupid's bow. Just a cute little bit. Okay, so let's just blend this in. with this guy, and that's just gonna make it not look any streaky or anything. Okay. 
Now, time for more baking. This technique I learned in a tutorial by Kylie Jenner. It's also something they do in stage a lot. You're gonna stamp out the chin. And bake all that on. And so you see how my highlight is, I'm um, sorry, my contour is above it. What that do, is doing right now is just gonna chisel this out more and make this kind of fade away. So you really look like you've got like popping cheekbones. I like it. Oh, by the way, let me tell you about this really quick. This powdery mess is Airspun, Cody Airspun. Um, seriously, your, your grandma probably used it. It has been around forever and a day. It smells kind of like that like fragrance that like I remember my granny having. It's been around since 1935, okay? It's $5 and you get a ton of product. This is the extra coverage translucent. You can get it anywhere. Walmart, I think, is where I got mine. All right. Next, we're going to bronze. So we contoured, and now we're bronzing. And, you know, you don't have to do both. I do both. This is the Hula Benefit bronzer. Everybody uses this. This is a super, super fluffy brush by Morphe R2. Okay. This is the technique that I use. Sucking the lips in and then smiling. Now that technique that I just did, the suck in and smile technique, is going to help you find the apples of your cheeks. Because sometimes whenever you smile, like it looks like it's all right there, but look at this difference. It just kind of just pokes them out a little bit more and you don't have that line for everything to fall in. This is a super old Revolution blush palette, Sugar and Spice, this is from Ulta, super cheap, same thing. And I also like to do just a tiny little bit of the NARS Orgasm Blush, which is universally pretty on pretty much any skin tone. That's why it is one of the best sellers. And sometimes if like I got like a little bit too pink, then I will go back with this brush, which is what we did the bronzer on, and just tap it a little bit. Okay. Moving on to eyebrows because seriously eyebrows are my best part now I have my eyebrows microbladed so that means that I have tattoos you can kind of see like that's all tattoo that's all tattoo and that was the best thing I ever did oh seriously it hurt really bad but um it makes doing this so much easier I used to have to do like a stencil and one foul little bump of the hand and it's all jacked up. And then you have just screwed up your whole makeup. So if you can afford microblading, it's between $300 and $500. Um, here in Texas where I got mine down, I think it was about $400. I totally say it's worth it. Totally say it's worth it. Okay. This is the Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Tried and true favorite. This is a teensy little brush, angle liner brush, I think also from Color Basis this guy okay so I'm starting in the middle part of my brow and I'm gonna go up into that which is just like the under part of my arch and then I'm gonna go to the top part of my arch and just making this part go down so you're just coloring that outside part in so it's pretty well defined and then you can just draw it out a little bit going back in the other side under part of the arch first then the upper and you're drawing it down now so be very careful with this dip brow if you are gonna start using it because a little bit goes so far it's insanity um, this is the color Auburn I also have the color chocolate I don't really use chocolate because it's a little bit too dark but it also is good to sometimes use if like you really want to make them really pop and you just want to do a couple strokes because your eyebrows are multiple colors guys they're not just one color I use a different product to set this and I'll show you the difference so now I'm just going back in and really lightly just filling in closer to the inner corners but I'm not gonna go into the inner corners with this okay 
see, let's make this guy. So I have, this eyebrow's a little bit lower than this eyebrow, so I have to fake it and make this eyebrow a little bit higher. And we're going to just keep defining that guy. Looks pretty good, okay. So, second trick. So remember we used the dip prowl for the outside parts? This is Elf's eyebrow duo. It is $2. This is dark and it comes with a dip brow like that, although this one doesn't stay, and a powder. This powder is a lot lighter than what you just saw there. This brush is by Beauty Control. I think I got it from Walmart when I was like in college. Dipping a little bit into there. And then you're gonna go towards the middle part of the brow. And you're gonna just use that to fill in. And so some days, if I have gotten my concealer on those parts of my eyebrows like too much, but I was just really in a hurry, I will use the dip brow just a little bit closer, but I just want this part to be lighter so it looks a little bit more natural versus like if you've seen people go and do their eyebrows and it's just like one big, it looks like a marker. You don't want that because HD TV will pick everything up. Looks pretty good. Now just to smooth everything out, you can go in with a spoolie. Brush them all out. Okay, good to go. I did not bring an eyelash curler, but usually I will curl my eyelashes. I have pretty long eyelashes because I use a lash serum. But this is my current situation with ma mascara. Um, I also really like Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is probably my favorite, although L'Oreal does make a really good dupe, The Lash Paradise, but I'm out of that. So this is a L'Oreal base. This is Hydrofuge Voluminous Carbon Black. What I did forget though, hold on a second, I gotta go back, is my under eye. So I do not use eyeliner. I don't really like how it looks. Um, what I do is I will shade using this tiny little brush and that is just like a light beige. I will go just underneath the outer third of my eye to give a little bit of dimension. And I think it's just a softer look than eyeliner. I'm not a fan of eyeliner. Used to be, used to love it. Not anymore, okay. Back to the eyebrows, I mean the eyelashes. Okay, Luminous Primer, this is white. This thing's like five bucks. Get a good, generous helping on the eyelashes. Bottoms and the tops, and see how crazy it looks. And then, this guy. I start with my bottom lashes. Get a big little bed on there. And then the tops. And I have been only using this mascara for a little bit. Oops. Okay, for a little bit of time, probably less than a week. And I'm not really honestly that in love with it, but we're gonna use it for today and that'll be fine. This is just such a fun, fabulous time. Okay. There we go. And yes, those are my natural lashes. Thanks to Lash Serum. Okay. Last things last. This huge kabuki brush from e.l.f., which is like another $2 thing. I'm gonna wipe off that. Bake. And put the 
excess where it needs to go. This is my lipstick container. So today, I think what we're gonna do is a mix of sort of high end and low end. Um, I'm really obsessed with the liners by NYX or NYX. They're great. I use two different colors usually, one of two. This one obviously is my more favorite one than this one because it's a little bit smaller. This is the Lip Liner Crayon in Nude Beige. And this is the Lip Liner Crayon in Natural. So we're gonna go with that, I think, hold on. Oh good, I thought I didn't have a sharpener. So I like to just do a really nude lip for TV. Sometimes I will do like a pinker color um, I have one of the Huda Beauty lip contour kits and um, I mean it's okay but my eyes are kind of more vivid so that's why I like to keep the lipstick pretty neutral. This is I think three or four dollars I got it from HEB. Um, line the lips pretty good. Tend to go a little bit out of the line, but not nothing crazy. And as I'm talking on TV, I always have to make, make sure I get it in those corners. Because if you don't, it looks a little weird. And then contour the lips. I'm going to color in on the sides. And down there. Just like that. Looks a little crazy, but it's okay. Then I'm taking the L'Oreal Collection Exclusive Eva, Eva's Nude. We're gonna use that over the entire lip. Rub it in. And then to finish on top, I have been obsessed with the Fenty Beauty, what is this one? Fenty Glow. But as you can see, if you look close, I'm almost out of that. And I found a dupe from Milani. This is a little bit more of a rose gold. This is more of a true, um, I mean, it's kind of more of a, a gold gold. Um, they have very similar applicators. Seriously, it's insane. This is Fenty. This is Milani. This one's a little pinker. This is a little more gold. So it's whatever you want. This one is like seven or eight bucks. This one I think is more like 18 to 20. And we're gonna use that today. Just the middle part of the lip to give it a little bit of a smooch. So yes, so that is what I do for my everyday TV makeup look. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and getting ready with me. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those below and follow me on social media so we can continue the conversation. Until next Tuesday, have a great week.